Welcome everyone. Final day of the build for the Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, I'm gonna say gonna start off putting the top part on. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up. With, supposedly I've marked the parts that where you're supposed to start the assembly with the. I got them in order over here, so I don't know if it's it matters or not. It doesn't appear to. It looks all pretty symmetrical to me, but that's what that's where it says to start. So that's <laughs> gonna go to that. And just work your way, work your way around. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Move down the way a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Seems pretty straightforward, but you know, a little. A little bit of a challenge getting fingers into the little holes, and you do got to make sure that there is a, <clears throat> a a little bit of detail on the roof tiles. You got to make sure you put them right side up. <laughs> This is actually printed on both sides, so it doesn't matter which way it faces. <laughs> Into there. I got a little detail popping up there. <laughs> now, one more time. Easy enough. <clears throat> to the height restriction of my camera rig now. But well, let's see, you got the, I guess, domes. <laughs> Not really domes. I don't know what you'd call non circular domes, but that's, you know, caps anyway. <laughs> They're uh, <clears throat> in place, and they, they show a little bit from the profile, pop up a little bit. I think they, a yeah, nice detail. Yeah, all right. So, next step is going to be putting some of the buttresses in here. So, I'll go pull them and be right back. Okay, here we go. The cat's wanting to make comments. <laughs> uh, as I say, we're just putting the buttresses on them. Hopefully, this goes as easy as everything else has gone so far on this thing. I'm thinking. Drop them in the bottom first, and maybe no, yeah, it's gotta be. There's a lip there, so it's gotta go in. A little bit of pressure on the top here. Maybe it'll. Okay. 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 I didn't really like that, but I maybe we found a better system now. <laughs> a little extra pressure on the bottom. Yes. Okay. Ooh. I missed that one. Hang on. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay. Get these in. I says. Yeah, I understand these have got to be 
pretty snug to make the effect proper because you got two, uh, you know, this has got to connect and this has got to actually be inserted. So I, I understand this a little bit. This this needs a little more. This is the most. I think this is probably the first time I'm really worried about breaking something on this, just because this it feels plenty sturdy, but it just you know I'm just waiting for something to break because I hadn't broken anything yet on this one. <laughs> okay. But it's not terribly traumatic either. It's they're cooperating. Now I'm getting out of. <laughs> Didn't think about having to do one up here where I can't see. <laughs> okay, now. And then the last one. Okay. All right. Not bad. Yeah, I got it. Okay, they did that. A little bit nerve-wracking, but not terribly traumatic. Yeah. And now let's... I'm going to do it at a 45 angle here so I can see a little bit better this time. See if that works any better. And I think I'm going to start on either end just so i got a little more... See if that works out better for having room. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I almost just broke it after the fact. Now the front one. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure these are all identical. Just That's the order they, they were numbered in, so that's the order I'm going to pull them in. Back to the front. seems to be to push it all the way in down then line up the top part top tab it seems to be the least amount of pressure applied to it <laughs> and I'm just pushing straight down so the force is going straight down this column. I'm not, I'm not trying to do it from over here. I'm I say go straight down from the top. And then a little, a little wiggle and jiggle to get that. All right. Yeah. That one's a little crooked. But <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. For the Yeah, coming together, starting to really look like it. So now it's got of course, I'll, we still get the. Do they call them steeples on Cathedral? Around here, they're steeples. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's. You got those buttresses in place. I like it. All right. So, I think. What's next? I'm working on the back side of the buttresses. Oops. I meant to have the lights on for all this. I forgot to plug it in, plug it back in. <laughs> let's, so let's see how the lights look on those. Uh, yeah, I get a little shine on them there on the side. That sort of a little more diffusion to it. A little, yeah. And I'm still. I'm still debating cutting a hole in the floor so the lights come out these bottom holes, but I'll have to, like I say, that'll be something to do after the build if I do it. I'm probably going to, but I'm not going to say absolutely positively until, because it will, with this black base, that, that'll soak up a lot of the light. I'll have to put something white underneath it to get it, see if it reflects out, but that's something to think about later. <laughs> Okay, but okay, so let's start working on the backside buttresses. So I'll pull those and be right back. All right, these numbers skip around a little bit, so I've got them in order as so I'm only doing, I would do both sides at once, but I'm, I don't want to confuse myself too much. 
so I've just got these lined up from this side and this from the back that from I guess the front to the back now <laughs> but these two evidently <laughs> go in together and there's a, a larger hole Those two both go into the same hole. I say this one, it's this one over here. It looks like there's gonna be one more for that too. There holds two of the buttresses, buttre trap, buttress eye. That means the plural. <laughs> and this one actually doesn't have a, a, a top, oh, but it does come down onto that little lip there with a, it's got a bit that hangs over this wall. <laughs> All right, now these are going from the front to the back. All the way in. I'll do mine at the top. Okay, yeah. yeah just like the front, that these tabs are a little bit smaller. Easy enough, I hope. <laughs> and the last one on this side. Okay, all right. That pretty much completes that whole side. All right, yeah, that's really starting to look like something now, of course. Now we'll move over to this side, so I'll get that position right, and now I'll go pull some more, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. A little bit of the same, I guess. There it goes. Real snug on these. Well, I guess it's if you're getting more of these supports, then the, I, I would assume the structure is getting more firm, so it is making it more difficult to flex. But that's but it's still not that bad. Last time I just went front to back. Completes our buttresses. Looking good, I think. I think I'm getting a little bit of glow on the. Let me sh shut this down. Okay. So you know, the light's coming out and shining onto the, the buttresses, making them sort of glow. I like nice effect there. Right. Now looks like. Yeah, we're not going to... I was thinking the light might bleed up through here to light up the steeple, but it does not appear it's going to because there's no light coming through there. <laughs> All right, something to... A little disappointed about that, but that's okay. Yeah, everything else is looking really good, I think. You got, the, got that effect on there. Yeah. All right, so let me get the light back up here. Let's see, next 
going to be working right in there. So I'll be right back after I get the last pieces pulled. This following is the last step. This will finish us up. So I'll be right back with that. All right. I think this is possibly going to be the, the trickiest part of the whole build. <laughs> because these have to be in a specific order and a specific order on here to get the proper orientation of the cross on top of the steeple. So that's going to be interesting. But I'm going to start with this. These guys go in there and stay in there. <laughs> and this down through there. Maybe it's the other way. Yeah, the other way. Okay. <laughs> Okay, get you all snugged in there. Okay, now this is like this. Now I'm trying to see. I think 223 goes here, right on the front of the cross, because that's going to end up going in here. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so then, it's work around. I'm gonna do three of them. Then I'm gonna bring the bottom piece over and hope I can get them to cooperate. Yeah. All right. Now, just finish working our way around, and it should pull itself into shape, I'm thinking. And that's, that's our another tab, and it's directly across there, so that's good. <laughs> Appears to be on schedule. Get a hold of that one. <laughs> it <laughs> okay yeah just that one does just sit in there it doesn't there's no force or anything i say the i may want to get some i may at some point in the future <laughs> if it bothers me enough get some glue and just lightly tack that down where it stays in contact there because it is popping up even when it's laying even with gravity on there it pops up a little bit but i say that there's no <laughs> that's easily removable it just i say it just it just sits on there it's not pushed in okay but ladies and gentlemen we have completed notre dame de paris <laughs> Okay, I like it. I'll say I'm continue gushing about it. I think you know, as far as assembling everything goes, I, I've th I've done a little think about trying to find something bad to say or something not positive. The only thing I can really come up with is, you know, I got two things. The instructions aren't crystal clear. The instructions are nine out of ten instead of ten out of ten. It's, I I would rather have a list of numbers rather than trying to find the the number on the diagram. That's the only real grief gripe I've got about the instructions. Everything else is real clear as far as how to assemble it. Had a couple of little things where it's just a matter of me taking a better look at things to make sure I was doing it right. But otherwise, you know, it's these are really good instructions. Uh, and the only other thing I could possibly even come up with is I wish it was just a tad smaller. This is this is going to take up a lot of room on the shelf. I don't know. Let's see if I got. Anything I can scale with it. It's uh, yeah. Like here's my my. Oh, 
glue bottle. That's everybody knows about that size. You had them in school. And they say this is, is this is a good size model. So like I say, that'd be the but the downside of that is that if if it was any smaller, you'd lose all these fine details, all the the fine lattice work and the windows and. So I'm not sure that it could be smaller, but you know. But I say I was so I was like I said I was really searching for anything at all to gripe about, and that that was the only two things I could come up with. I, this one, you know, granted I've got some experience putting this stuff together, these wooden models, so I'm used to the feel of them and everything. But this is absolutely the best feeling model that I've ever put together, as far as each piece going together and it's being snug. And secure but not having to it didn't you know very rarely felt like anything was going to break so i think that's just i say i'm i'm over the moon with this model i i'm looking forward to doing the taj mahal from the same people to see if they they're consistent with their builds and then i'm going to start hoping they build make more models for us because <laughs> as of right now that's the only two that i've found for them uh but yeah that was fun i liked it now for a little preview of the next project if you stuck around this long move you up i built this one a while back little sort of a bookshelf thing it's got the light in it and it's got little diorama in there you know and uh this, this is a real life model so i bought another one of this it's not quite as melancholy it's a starry melody secret garden <laughs> It's sort of a looks like a cat with a piano, I, I guess. I, I sort of the, the of the tro of the four choices. This is the one that I thought looked most interesting, just because I thought it'd be fun to build the piano if the if nothing else. Because remember, on this one I had to build that box, and that was a little bit of a headache. And I think I goofed it up a couple of places, but it you know it came together. Uh, there is more gluing on the, the this project, so I'm assuming the same on there. Uh, had to trim that little that tree in the bush or whatever here in the background. I had to trim it down to fit in there. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge, but it was also well within my comfort zone, I guess you'd say. Uh, it does have like the the button batteries, which is something I don't like. I would rather it be either USB or r regular double or triple A's. But anyway, that's my next go. So we'll start up on this tomorrow. And uh, hopefully it'll be a fun little build and y'all enjoy it as much as you have the Notre Dame. Nope. I, I knew I was going to do that at some point. Notre Dame. <laughs> uh, but uh, I say, I'm, uh, all in all, you know, I can't begin to tell y'all how pleased I am with how this turned out. Looks good. Feels good. A fun assembly. I think this is just, you know, anybody ever asked about a model to start with, this is going to be the one I tell them to build. Because it really does give you a good feel for the the wood and how it fits together, and it, they just did it perfectly. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.